Hey, it's Jesus Castillo from Ruby Guides, and today we're going to talk about not coding, uh, but what you need to be thinking about when you're learning Ruby or you're learning anything really. So as you can see, I have the green screen today because it's just going to be whole video like this. Uh, I just want to talk about about what does it really take to learn something, especially something as hard as programming? So let's talk about that. Okay, so I see a lot of people that have the wrong expectations because you can find learn Ruby in 60 minutes or learn Ruby in one week. It doesn't work like that, right? Um, the problem is that if you have the wrong expectation, if you think, oh, I'm going to learn this in a week, I'm just going to take this one course and then I already know everything. Well, the bad news is that it takes a lot longer than you think, okay? Because programming is hard, right? And if you think it's going to be really, it's going to take you very little time, you're going to just take one course and you're done, well, then you're going to be giving up too early. And I don't want you to do that if you want to really learn programming, right? And become a professional Ruby developer or whatever your goal is. So it takes, it can take, some people ask me, it's normal. How long does it take? Well, it depends on the person, it depends on the time that you put in, but it's going to take at least months, okay? It's already put it in your head. So it's going to take one, more than one course, more than one book, more than one month. It's going to take months. It can take up, up to years. So what you need to do once you know this, if you still want to learn programming, then go all in, commit to it, and set a schedule, a learning schedule, like every day at this time, I'm going to do some learning. And sometimes it doesn't seem like you're making a lot of progress, but you have to keep going. Eventually, you will get there, you will figure it out. And there is always more to learn, right? So you will never reach a point where you feel like, oh, I'm done. I really know everything there is to know about Ruby, about programming. I, I have been programming for 20 plus years and I'm still learning new things almost every day. I, I always find this new method, this different way to do things, this new algorithm this new thing, there's always little things that you can keep learning. And one thing that you have to do if you want to really master, become a master of programming, just not an average programming, because you already have too many of average. If you want to become an expert, a master of this craft, then you really have to be looking for these little things that keep adding up. It's like the 1%, 1%, 1%. If you keep adding up little things, little knowledge packets, or uh, little things that you can keep learning and improving, then these add up, right? And over time, that's how learning happens, okay? So you make connections. Your brain needs to make a lot of connections. You also have to search for this connection. How is a hash? For example, how is a hash related to an array? When do I use a hash? When do I use an array? Why is this better uh, at this time for this situation, right? You have to really get excited about these little details and things. But if you're just getting started, just know that it's going to take time and it's okay to make mistakes because a lot of people get an error and then <laughs> it's okay. You are going to always get errors. You're not going to just imagine a program done 
and it's magically going to work the first time. It's not like that, right? Even after you become an expert, you still get error messages. You still have to use Google to look things up. Something maybe you don't remember the name of a method or the order of the arguments. If a method takes two arguments, here is a perfect example, inject and is a Ruby method and also each with object is a Ruby method. But they do very similar things, right? But the order of the arguments is switched, is reversed for one method and the other. So if you don't remember, you might remember this fact that they are reversed, but maybe you don't remember what the correct order is. Then it's okay to look it up. It doesn't mean that you, you, you make some kind of fail because you don't remember everything or you don't know everything, right? It's a process of constant improvement. So that, I think that's the right means mindset. You have to think, okay, it's going to take time, but it's something that I want to do, so it's worth it. And I'm making progress by slowly building up my knowledge and my skills as I learn new things by reading many books, many courses, and as I create many Ruby programs, right? So I really wanted to make this video because a lot of people, um, I see them struggling with these kind of things. And um, I hope this helps you think that you are working in progress and you have to be constantly um, reading and immersing yourself into learning these little things and also the big things and how things connect together. Okay, so I hope this video helped you. Please click the like button for me on this video so that I know that you like it and so that more people can find the video and benefit from this information. Okay? Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.